It was not what many in the area of likely expected. Enough waste to fill 2,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools rushing from the breached tailing pond at the Mount Pauly mine. While the incident is isolated to a single region of the province, the impacts will be far-reaching. Very acrid smell in the air from the affluent. The video posted on YouTube by the Caribou Regional District was shocking to view. A breach of the Mount Polly Copper Gold Mine tailing pond, especially at a time when the region was expecting banner returns for salmon populations. For both the Chilco and the uh, Quinell combined is approximately four million fish coming back. So we don't know what proportion are supposed to go into the Quinell, but if the effluent and the, and the metals affect the main stem of the Fraser, both of those stocks could actually be affected. Though it's difficult to pinpoint exactly what chemicals and elements are present in the waste, the experts can draw on parallels elsewhere. Some of them are bad and some of them are acceptable. There's a whole uh, arsenic, copper, what you would expect. Mercury sometimes is another product that you might find. Selenium is something of concern to many mines. Uh, and the sulfate in the water is often flagged as being of concern once it uh, gets discharged into aquatic systems. It may take several years to determine the impacts of the breach, but Dr. Phil Owens says whatever the impact to the virtually pristine ecosystem will undoubtedly be felt down the chain. And we don't know for at the moment, this moment in time, exactly what's in that, uh, the water that's been discharged. But, you know, we know from experience it's likely to be a lot of nasties. And we know that in combination, they're not particularly good for aquatic organisms. And obviously there's concern for drinking water and human health as well, which is why we've seen this uh, drinking water ban issued by the... Both doctors Phil Owens and Ellen Pettercrew are headed to the site to see what impacts this event has had on the Quinell River Research Center located downstream of the breach. We're monitoring the groundwater now and we'll continue to monitor that. They've told the water advisory has, has, is for everybody on surface water from the lake as well as the groundwater to just use bottled water now. So we'll be checking that to see if it percolates down into our well, into our groundwater well and then track that for a while. Dr. Pettigrew says the Department of Fisheries and Oceans had plans to put a counting station at the center, but isn't sure how this event will impact those plans. Cheryl Jan, CKPG News.